Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblocks. So today is the day I'm finally embracing my inner non. I see you all out there, you juju wielders. You get clowned on far too much because that weapon is busted, okay? For those of you that don't know about it, which by now you really should, the juju bow is possibly like the most overpowered weapon in the game for its price range. It's basically Terminator, but instead of shooting three arrows, it shoots one. But considering Terminator is like a one billion coin weapon and the juju short bow costs like 30 million you're all about to see something pretty mad like literally you don't even need to bother buying a hyperion kind of mad it's a ridiculous weapon obviously it was added during the enderman slayer update it requires enderman slayer level three which is absurdly low if we view the recipe for the juju short bow you can see how insanely cheap it is the most expensive thing here is the 32 null ovoids but you can buy them for so much cheaper on the auction house if we just search for juju and go to the last page you can see 33 million now i I say this is a cheap weapon. I know 33 million is a lot of coins, but for how good this thing is, it's literally the Hyperion killer. And it's like less than 10% of its price. It is absurdly cheap for how good it is. So today I'm going to be maxing out my Juju short bow, just so the comparison is kind of fair. You know, we need to recombobulate it, add solely to power seven, snipe six, master stars, all the things just so there's no kind of discrepancy between the two bows. You should never max out this bow to the extent I'm doing it by the way this is purely because i'm refraction and so it's fair against my terminator but yeah you you'll see what a monster this bow is all you need on it pretty much overload is optional overload is nice but it's kind of expensive so it depends if that's in your budget soul eater is definitely the goat of ultimate enchant soul eater carries this thing so hard so if you can get that that's a dub but if not honestly i'd recommend swarm swarm is super cheap and it's actually hella underrated so if you can't afford soul eater i'd say get swarm but yeah it's time to get into the nitty gritty of this bow dude some kind soul several streams ago actually gave me his short bow this is like a modification of that i kind of added soul eater to it and recombobulated it but you know that's not enough for this stream you know i had to go all in and buy all this stuff as well so that's pain that cost me far too many coins but you know gotta be done like i said testing purposes everything has to be the same even if like chance five and cubism six make no difference to the damage really it has to be done man by the way snipe four is like 120 million right now so that's that was actually agony. First master start. Oh. Ah, I always mess this up, dude. It's been so long since I master started anything. There we go. Okay, I do need more levels. I'm stupid. I think this is officially max now. For some reason, the guy that gave it to me put an N rune 1 on it. So we got to go correct that with an N rune 3. And then we can get on with the comparisons, bro. So a thing that confuses a lot of people. Well, there's two things that confuse people with this bow. The reforge, you definitely want spiritual. A lot of people get really confused and think you need hasty because Terminator uses hasty. If you look at Terminator, it divides your crit chance by four. That's why we use hasty because it's the reforge for bows that gives the most crit chance. As you can see, it gives 60, which is wild. Whereas for every other bow in the game, spiritual is by far the best reforge so spiritual on this 100 the other thing that people do which certifies them as juju nons which you never want to do chat if you do this i will find you never put rend on this thing okay i don't know why so many people put rend on their juju bows just don't it is useless rend can go on any bow in the world usually one that shoots five arrows to a hurricane bow or a venom's touch do not put rend on a juju short bow man dragon hunter really chat okay dragon hunter five yeah why not man why not we've gone in this far right basically juju has a couple of case scenarios which are kind of good and in some ways it's actually more useful than terminator so obviously terminator divides your crit chance by four and getting 400 crit chance outside of dungeons is long bro that is so difficult so sometimes terminator isn't the answer juju will crit 100 of the time as long as you have the crit chance for it you know if you want to be a rich boy going out here grinding zealots in some kind of extremely overkill method you can use the juju short bow to do it because it does hit enemy which is kind of cool. You can use it to spawn Slayer bosses. I don't think you can shoot all Slayer types with this thing. I'm pretty sure you can't shoot stuff like Sven's and that, but you know, you can go give it a try. It has quite a few uses outside of dungeons, but it doesn't really justify the price tag. Where it does shine is in dungeons, man. In dungeons, this thing is different gravy. I'm going to hop into some M6. This is an Ender Slayer level three weapon, bro. Ender Slayer level three. This one, you need Ender Slayer level seven, and it's like one billion coins. This is Ender Slayer level three, and 
you need 30 million coins. And here's a little secret. You don't even necessarily need Ender Slayer level 3 because once you convert it to a dungeon's item and put stars on it, you will no longer require Ender Slayer 3 within dungeons. So you'll still need it for outside of dungeons, but I'm pretty sure in dungeons, you don't need the Ender Slayer level, which is just busted. It's the same with Terminator. I'm sure they'll fix it eventually. The admins already know, so don't think I'm selling you all out, Juju users. But yeah, for the time being, at least, you don't even need Ender Slayer level 3, which is just cracked. I know right now I'm currently using Endgame gear and I am Kata 49, but this is just to compare it versus Terminator. We'll get into the full comparison. Like I will fully convert into a Juju non soon with the ideal setup that's super cheap as well and just show you how far this thing can go. But for the time being, I'm just going to show you what this thing can do in currently the highest dungeon floor by a long shot. Okay, so we take out our Terminator. We've all seen this a million times, right? We do like 100 million damage with Soul Eater at the very least. This thing's just absolutely broken, dude. So uh, we saw that was doing 100 million per arrow, right? That's the Juju bow. The damage is the same, if not slightly more, which is kind of insane considering the price difference between these two bows. I could literally go and do a full on blood rush only using a Juju short bow in the hardest dungeon floor with an Ender Slayer level three weapon. It's beyond absurd. You saw how fast it dropped that mini? It's ridiculous. And I know it kind of looks like the Juju bow is better. Like why ever bother buying a Terminator? You got to remember Terminator shoots three arrows. So technically Terminator is doing like over 300 million per shot. It's a lot easier to clear because the arrows spread out when you play Archer. It shoots six arrows, which is just nuts. But you know, this is still insanely good for its price. You'll be a little bit slower clearing and it might take a little bit longer, but in the same vein, it's insane. It is genuinely insane. Like if you cannot afford Terminator and you really want to get into master mode, it's not that bad. It takes a little bit longer to clear, as you can see, because it doesn't shoot three arrows and it's not hitting enemies three times. But here I am soloing master mode floor six literally the hardest thing you can currently play in high pixel skyblock with a level three slayer weapon that is less than 10 percent the price of a hyperion for context by the way if you want to watch me try and do this with hyperion let's get a heroic chimera five hyperion out just for comparison this is how a chimera hyperion fares in this floor it can't even one tap most things i'm actually doing like surprisingly decently just wait till i run into a mini but for the time being it's actually okay let's see how long i survive like this man this is this is not good. There, there, there I go. <laughs> So yeah, it absolutely clowns on Hyperion in every sense of the word, man. Hyperion is still the GOAT for like non-master mode, but currently master mode is the best XP rate. It can be the best money. I mean, third master stars are 50 mil. Why would you want to spend 500 mil when you can spend 30 mil and it'd be that good? You just watched me do master mode floor six with the Juju short bow and you saw how cracked it is. But yeah, I'm Kata 49 and I'm literally using three fourths ancient Necron with a diamond sedan head. It's kind of like a super overkill setup. If you're using this bow, there's no shot you can afford this setup. So I'm going to bring myself down a few levels, chat. I'm going to humble myself. I'm going straight on the auction house and I'm doing exactly as I think a Juju Nun would do. I'm going to find the cheapest set of five-star Shadow Assassin that I can possibly find and a Zombie Knight chest plate. And we're going to try this again, but in the armor that these guys would be using. So we can see just how good this thing is because it is pretty ridiculous. Recombobulated and upgraded for 1.6 million. Oh, they're not recon. Never mind. They're just the upgraded ones, the livid frags. Yeah, I'll take that, dude. Dude, 1.6 million for some legendary shadow assassin boots. Oh my God. Little known fact for the zombie knight chest plate. For anybody wanting to buy this thing, the reason this thing's recommended is because its stats are insane and it just drops from mobs in the different floors. So it's not very expensive at all. You're wanting to get one of these red quality ones, which you can tell if you have skyblock extras or you can use skyblock add-ons and that'll give you this information at the bottom. You see item quality, floor seven, 50 out of 50. You're looking for a 50 out of 51 but depending on your cat level depends which floor one you should buy because the higher floors have higher stats but you need a certain cat level to dungeonize the chest plate depending on what floor it was dropped on so say a floor 1 50 out of 50 zombie knight chest plate won't need a high catacombs level to use but a floor 7 one will so it depends what cat level you are it won't be like anything super high i'd just have a look on the auction house and see what the cat level requirements are but for the purposes of this video i'm gonna try and go in the 
middle and buy like a floor five one. There's a floor five 50 out of 50. That should be pretty solid. 670k for legendary and five star and all the things, dude. This is the setup we want. Another thing you'd probably want is a golden head of whatever floor you're trying to run. So I'm going to be doing M5. So we'd want a golden livid head. You can see those things are absurdly cheap. I already have one. So I may as well just use the one I already have. You just saw I spent what? Less than five mil on all of this armor. And this is pretty solid armor to be fair. I'm going to go over here and five star it myself because I have so much essence. I don't know what to do with it. And it's a lot cheaper. This is more like upper Juju Nons Alley. This is everything they'd be using. No ultimate enchants, nothing, dude. In fact, we should probably reforge this stuff. What reforges do they currently have? Fierce? Yeah, Fierce is probably a solid reforge, actually. I completely forgot that existed. So we'll five star this and then we'll go over and make our livid head Fierce. There's loads of cheap options for ultimate enchants for armor, like Wisdom and Last Stand. They're not too expensive. But for the purposes of this, we're going to assume you've gone all out, dude. You've just liquidated your entire net worth, sold off everything you have just to buy a Juju short bow, okay? So that's the vibe we're going with for this stream. And if you're that broke, this is all you're going to be left with, dude. This kind of armor set. And obviously, you're not going to have a non-tier boosted legendary and the dragon pet. That's kind of ridiculous. So we'll go skeleton pet. I don't know how this is going to go, by the way. I'm just trusting in how good the Juju short bow appears to be. So let's jump in. Master mode, floor five with 40 mil worth of gear. This is busted. <laughs> What is wrong with this bow? <laughs> I remember trying to do M5 when I first picked it up with my team. I was just a little Kata 39 rat, dude. I had to spend so much on gear, so much on like so many different stars. I mean, oh, did my auto pet swap to an E-drag? Oh, it did swap to an E-drag. Ah, my bad, chat. My bad. All right, let's see what this is like with the skeleton pet. Honestly, I don't think it'll be that much different. Yeah, we're still doing pretty much the same. Is that actually like more damage? I can't tell because of Soul Eater, but the damage is pretty much identical, dude. But anyway, we'll consider this a dub if we can solo Blood Rush all the way to the Blood Room and uh, chill, dude. Holy, you get zero mana in this thing. I can't even use my Scylla to heal me. Uh, oh! Okay, I, I, you still get two tapped by those guys. That is kind of scary. You should not be running this solo, by the way. If I had a tank, that would be easy sailing, man. We're going to try that again, but with a baby Yeti pet. That's probably more of the kind of thing that people with this set be using because I'm realizing that gives no health. Oh, this is my Hyperion? Oh, I see how it is. Bear in mind, I'm doing this in master mode to show you guys like the absolute like extreme scenario for this setup. This would mean that floor seven would be a breeze. If you can't do floor seven right now, less than 40 mil worth of gear, you can play floor seven easily, dude. Easily. And holy, the baby Yeti gives me so much more health. Yeah, I'll probably be dead already. Oh, well, there we go, dude. Frozen Adventurer first mob. You hate to see it. I'm doing this, man. I'm committed to the Juju non lifestyle. Kata level carry. I mean, obviously, the Kata level does make a difference, right? But I'm still making a point. You saw the second I swapped a Storm and a Hyperion in M6, I still died instantly. I'm comparing it to like dungeons of old, where you'd need to spend so much money and be so careful and still die. Whereas, now you can literally just rock up with less than 40 mil of gear and easily play it. I'm saying with my Kata level, if I can do Master Mode Floor 5 solo and get to the Blood Room, M3 will be easy. I mean, speaking of my Kata level anyway, if we look, I'm doing easily millions and millions of damage to each of these mobs, right? They only have like 18 million health, 6 million health, 72 million. I guess those are kind of stat, but you know, these mobs have like no health and I'm doing enough damage to kill them like five times over. Like even if you're not Kata to 49 like me, you will still probably do more than enough damage to kill these things, which is ridiculous. Bear in mind the setup that I'm using. And if you're with a tank, you could probably easily use a skeleton pet or a damaging pet. And there we go. M5 solo blood rush in this gear. I remember when I first played this floor, how terrifying it was. It's actually insane. Can I do yellow room? Probably not, but I'm a prey, dude. If we can dodge the arrows, we're, we're home sailing. Okay, there we go. If he doesn't get the health pots off as well, we're... we're by this feels like Death Streak's doing a yellow room. Dude, there we go. There we go. It's just mad. Honestly, I'd say try it before they nerf it. I don't even know if they're gonna nerf. It's been out for so long at this point, but for real, it is far too good. If you want some free Catacombs XP, get in some Master Mode with this if you can. M3, I'm telling you, you could do it with your eyes shut. I am certain of that. And even if you can't do Master Mode, if you're struggling with Floor 6, Floor 7, this thing, like, it's not gonna clear as fast as a Hyperion. There's no way it'll clear as fast as a Hyperion, but it's still insane good. I want to actually try it. If any mutuals want to play floor seven, I want to actually give this thing a try in floor seven and see if you can keep up with like a full Hyperion team, you know.
All right, here we go. Do these boys have high parents? You know what? They look like respectable gamers. We have got a gamer team. Holy, this guy's even got black storm boots. All right, I'm solo archering. Wait, I'm not solo archering. This is this is not good. The juju non is about to lose a lot. Of I'm gonna go buzz. I can't go buzz. Rest in peace, dude. But anyway, we'll use a blue whale pet. Let's see what EHP that gives us. Uh, 534k versus 600. Okay, the baby yeti actually is better, dude. It actually is better. So let's see how we can do as a juju user in floor seven. It feels so weird not warping through with a Hyperion and one tapping everything. But you know what? We're blood rushing, dude. I didn't expect to be put on this roll. But so far, it's, it's working out, man. I've got nobody near me. Nobody helping me out. I'm using off shadow assassin, a floor five zombie knight chest plate and a golden Necron head. I haven't even seen my health go down yet. This is what I was saying, dude. Like if I could do master mode, anybody could do floor seven in this setup. I mean, provided you meet the actual cata level requirements for the floor, you you can easily do this, man. It's slower for sure. If you're in a fully try hard team, they probably won't invite you because it's definitely slower. But if you can find a team of friends or like show that you're actually worth putting on the team, you'd probably get into some floor seven parties with this setup, man. Like it probably just put in your little party finder thing. Juju nons unite. You will find them. You can band together and you can kill Necron with such little gear. It's actually laughable. <laughs> it's crazy that you can go into this floor with literally this setup, this whole setup that I'm using including the pet is what less than 70 mil and you can jump straight in and have a chance of getting a drop that's worth 400 mil you can literally like over quadruple your coins wait over quintuple your coins from getting one drop with this gear man and there goes blood <laughs> I can't believe the gear I'm using, dude. I actually cannot believe what I'm using right now to pull this off. It is ridiculous. Oh, I want to kill the Necron, dude. My team's dying on me. They were doing so well. I one phased him. Oh my God, dude. There's no shot. I actually just one phased. There's only two of us. I must have been doing a ton of damage there, man. And yes, I'm sorry to the Dungeons community for what this video may do to it with the influx of Juju Nons, but the people deserve to know the skill isn't in the weapons. You can't just get this weapon and instantly be the best at everything, but you can be good with it. If you learn how to use it, learn how to not die and learn good secret routes, you could still become a very, very valuable dungeon player, even with this setup, man. It would be even better if I was solo archer, but unfortunately I'm not. But Juju's still on top, man. This this bow is cracked. And there we go. Floor seven. We did the boss fight with two people. We one phase Necron with two people. I solo blood rushed all with a Juju short bow, man. If I can do it, trust me, chat. I'm an absolute rat. If I can do it, I believe in you guys. Like I said, it doesn't divide your crit chance by four. So outside of dungeons, it's pretty much a better version of the frozen scythe that doesn't require any mana. Its uses are limited. It can also bow endermen, which is nice, but the main thing is dungeons. This thing will absolutely carry you through dungeons. So my advice, get 30 mil coins, however you want to do, whether it's Slayer, whether it's farming, whether it's summoning eyes. You think this thing's like 50 summoning eyes and you can go and try and get a handle. That's literally how good it is. I think that's going to do it for this stream. If you enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing and I will see you all soon. Peace. <laughs>